Welcome to Wixom's Tree Primary. This video is designed to help you with your home learning. We will have a look at Purple Mash and look at some new virtual support that will be given from next week. When your child logs into Purple Mash, they will see this home page. From here, you can access lots of games that are already on the website. They will also see that they have a to do box, a work tab, a sharing tab and an alert tab. By clicking on the to do's, they will be able to see any tasks that have been set by their teacher. In order to start a task, they need to click on the start button. This will take them to their task. Once a pupil has completed a task, they need to press the red back arrow. They need to save and exit their work to record anything they have started. When they are happy that they have completed their work, they can press the hand in box. They can leave a note for their teacher or they could even record a voice note for their teacher to hear. The teacher will be able to then provide some voice note feedback or some written feedback for them to look at. This will appear in the to do box and may also be given as an alert. In the work folder, children will be able to upload any work from home. This could be a picture that they have completed or a task that they've used on another tool, such as Word or Excel. By clicking the upload button, you will be able to add any files to your child's work folder. The sharing tool is where any blogs will be shared with your child. This is where you can access the activities that have been set for the week. This blog will look different for different classes and different age groups. By clicking on a post, you'll be able to see the work that has been set for that day or week or subject, depending on how your class teacher uses Purple Mash. On here, you will see which tasks have been set. Sometimes you may see a link to take you to another website. Sometimes you'll be able to download things such as PowerPoints and PDFs that your teacher has uploaded. If you have any questions or would like to post a comment, you can type this in the bottom box and press post. Your teacher will then receive an alert to know you have posted a comment. To go back to the main page, click the back red arrow. From the alerts, you will re um, receive any feedback or notes from work you have submitted or things that have been added to your sharing file. You can click through these and close them once you've read them. Please remember that any home learning is also shared on our website. Here you will be able to see a timetable of things that are happening that week, a home learning pack which has been put onto the website for you to access. You can also pick up a paper copy from the office and any letters that have been posted. From next week, we are hoping to do daily check-ins with our pupils. These will be in the morning and the afternoon and the timings will be confirmed by your teacher on your class blog. Your teacher will post a link in your blog for you to be able to access the task. This will appear under the day and will tell you what time you can go into your check-in. When you click on this link, you may find that this screen appears. Your child can access the video by continuing on the browser but if you wish to download the app, you can. Each class will have a morning check-in and an afternoon check-in, and these will begin on Tuesday. Your child will be able to join the check-in with their video and sound on. If your child does not have permission to join on video, then please make sure this is turned off. They are also able to turn off the video by choice if they wish to. These check-ins will be live with those pupils who are able to join at those times. Sometimes your teachers may record lessons for you to access at another time. These will be posted on the blog. Some teachers may also lead live sessions such as reading stories or delivering phonics lessons. These will be accessed live through the link, but may also be available on the blog to be accessed later. We hope this has provided you with some more information about our virtual learning. We will continue to develop this over the next few weeks. 
and hope that it makes your home learning experience a lot easier.